Hello, everyone, and today we have with us Mr. Chetan Sharma, the front office associate at the Leela Palace, Bangalore. And he is here to share some of his experiences. So let us know about him. So, Mr. Chetan, before moving ahead with the interview, tell us something about yourself. All right. Uh, hello, everyone who is watching this interview over here. My name is Chetan Sharma. I'm from uh, Bittamur, Zappa. Uh, I'm from a different country, Nepal. I did my bachelor's in Inspira Knowledge Campus, Ligudi, so I'm a like, go-to senior of yours. <laughs> and then uh, after like one and a half year of college life was good, it was going great, and then the pandemic happened. So then our year was around online classes, and then I got over to my college. And then it was like one, two months, it, um, the college was over. I was trying out different stuff. I was like uh, improving my skills. And then and one day I got a call from Leela Palace Bangalore about like they were hiring front office associates and I was also interested in front office. And then everything messed up. We got an interview. Uh, interview was cleared. Some of the like formalities were done. And then I got placed over Leela Palace. And it's been a, over a month. Now it's going great. Uh, I like the people. I like the vibe over here in Bangalore. So everything is settled now. I'm just hoping for a good future. Okay, so could you please brief us about the company you're currently working with? Uh, yeah, definitely. So Leela Palace, uh, it's like an Indian brand, a total Indian luxury brand. Uh, it was uh, like started by Captain Krishnan Nair in, okay, let's first let me tell something about the owner. Like it's an epic story about him. He was a captain earlier and then he was uh, like a rebellion and then he came into hotel industry after the age of 65. So it's like an Indian Warren Buffet story. So at the, after the age of 65, he came into the industry and now the Leela Palace is among the top three hotel brands of India. Uh, so um, talking about more, the Leela Palace is now owned by the Brookfield. It's an asset, manage, manage, asset management company from uh, uh, Toronto, Canada. Uh, before it was after before it was from uh, Krishna Nair and then his son, sons like sold it to Brookfield. Now it's completely managed by Brookfield. It's an like a foreign asset management company. And then Leela Palace has over 21 different properties all over India. Uh, Leela Palace Bangalore particularly being the third property to be established after the Mumbai, Goa and the Bangalore. Okay. Okay. So could you please even brief us about your job profile and the roles and responsibilities mm -hmm. that you have to go through in a day-to-day -day activities? So front office, as the name suggests, um, is the face of the hotel, the guest. Like whenever they enter the hotel, front office is the department which like gets to interact with the guest at first. Uh, in my industrial training, like I was part of all the departments, like the knowledge of every department is important, but particularly front office is that you require a different mindset. Uh, you have to be present to the, you have to be like, uh, you have to concentrate to the guest, like you are giving them 100%. You can't be like thinking about something in front of a guest. Whatever he is saying, you have to listen to him. All there are different types of guests, so different type of queries, different types of requests. Everything needs to be fulfilled. So you require a complete hotel knowledge, background of the hotel, whatever is happening, what whatever we can, uh, uh, whatever the guest demands, we have to give him. So you would require a complete knowledge, not just the software, not not just this, uh, the software skills, not just the uh, customer handling skills, but like you require a complete knowledge about it. Okay. So mm -hmm. as you know, that skills are really very important on all of the profession. So yes. talking about it, what are the skills specifically which is required in your job? Okay. So specifically in front office, what I have uh, like personally seen is that uh, your attitude is the most, your attitude to learn every day, like uh, you, you there are some seniors there are some juniors of yours you learn from the juniors as well as you learn from your seniors sometimes you even learn from the guest so your attitude to learn is the most basic requirement and then there are other soft skills like communication then you have uh, you have to have a nice grooming standard and grooming is like part of hotel industry it goes with it and then uh your there are so many cultural uh so many people from all around the world uh, working in the same industry. So you have to be uh, really, you know, particular about your culture. You can't like, uh, you know, talk shit about them. You have to be, you have to gel with them. So 
you know all the people from different cultural backgrounds you have to be like nice honest with them and then team team coordination is required the most uh, you can't like okay you are from this place so uh, you you are you this guest is like a nepali so i am i can speak like nepali properly so it's not that am i i am only going to communicate him my colleagues also get communicate uh, gets chance to communicate with him like so these were like uh, the basics basic skills of a front office okay so uh, was it a campus placement and like during the recruit recruitment period how was the question and answer process handled with your company uh, okay the placement story is like a different <laughs> i was like during the month of september i was applying to different hotels uh, uh but like it said that there's a match in the heaven so leela palace was recruiting front office and then uh, my two of the seniors just uh, who were the part of leela palace front office they just left and then uh, even my professor uh, contacted me that leela palace is looking for some front office associate you want to try them i said okay then just the very next day the interview was scheduled uh, uh, the rd rooms division manager over here uh, got in touch with me we had an interview and the next day i was like uh, okay i got an offer later so even from starting of a week uh, like if it is a monday i did my interview and sunday i was in the leela palace bangalore <laughs> so it happens it happened so quickly uh, i got my tickets arranged uh, and then flew over flew to bangalore settled down over here and i started my work just in a period of a week Okay, so could you please tell us about like how was the question and answer process handled at your company? Ah, uh, during my interview, the question and answer was like it was just a particular conversation. It was not about uh, like a question answer round. Ah, uh, you okay. if you have any skill, you if you, like we did a bachelor's degree, right? So we have a knowledge. Everyone knows that. You don't ah uh, just judge your skills in an interview. We just the communication skill. it was a good communication with my rda manager he liked me i liked him and then it was just done nothing particular as a question and answer but if you were watching this interview to know about the question and answer so i would say uh, during an interview of a front office associate just uh, get to know about the uh, there are some numerical parts uh, just uh, basic formulas just learn about it and then uh, some there are some rooms division about the fees about the system they were the software just get a basic knowledge about it uh, this will be asked in an interview but my interview personally was just a normal conversation so any advices or tips that you want to give us to our audience who wants to go in the profession like you uh so three basic advices uh be yourself don't fake it because it won't uh, help you and then work hard until you can like uh, if you can still if you have uh, something to achieve yet and you are just giving it up don't do that work hard until you do it uh and then last piece of advice will be just don't follow the rumors if someone hasn't achieved anything and if, if he is advising you don't take his advice try your own until and unless you uh, you failed in it and you think that okay it's not it's not for you you have to try till then Okay, so thank you so much, Mr. Chetan, for joining in with us today, and it was amazing talking mm -hmm. to you. And thank you for your time.